March 2024 is on. As always, I seem to be a little bit late in those updates, but I'm here. March has really started quite strong for most of us. And yes, it's a time of chaos and turbulence and all that kind of things, but it tends to happen when you live in a time of deconstruction. And the deconstruction is, is basically the deconstruction of old systems and paradigms that we are not victim to, but that we have chosen to be part of. So my question for March 2024 to you is what you want to be part of. What are you really for? So here in this month, I really feel very strongly that we're shifting from that why do I have to do that? Why is this like that? It is more like shifting into what is it for? And what is it for is not necessarily what's coming in the future. But what it is for is more about who does it serve? Where can it take us? So it comes with a whole lot of new questions. And for me, the basic question at the moment through March, and as we're going on in a very crazy eclipse season, by the way, let me adjust here a little bit. It is really about how to live in New Earth that I'm already touching a lot with the Ascension archetypes, and you will hear a lot about that. New Earth vibe, how do we live in New Earth? And it's very clear that most of it has to do with heart living, heart-centered living. The heart awakening actually gets now a really good kick and so for me, March is that kind of preparation. It is a lot of shifting. And it also means that, of course, we are in the time of Pisces. The new moon will be in Pisces. And, and of course, we, we are in a very interesting time. We have a lot of healing support in the cosmos. If you want to know more about this, I put a link in the description. So you have maybe a better appreciation what I'm talking about. And so it is a really, really crucial, crucial time to get the clarity how to live in New Earth. And for me, for heart living, for heart-centered living. The big difference between the old Earth, if we want to call it that way, the old times, the old age. And by the way, the processional cycles are not just the end of the Piscean age. There is bigger processional cycles that go six and 12,000 years. So it, it is a really crucial time. So the old age was really based on trying to standardize, control, uniform. Um, but it doesn't mean there was nothing to learn. And, and it's not like the, the Pisces age, the Piscean age was a bad age. But I feel it's time to, to really graduate from the Piscean age to truly walk into the Aquarian age. And this is the new earth. This is ascension. And there's nothing to wait for now. This year is fast. This year is turbulent. This year is chaotic. And the more we resist, the more difficult it gets. So the universe is supporting us. We're getting all the energies together with 5G and the satellites and all of that. But essentially, we're getting all the support the light codes, the, the Schumann frequency, we can measure that. We, we know that this is real. So the more we are coming into sacred harmony, into alignment, into these sacred rhythms, the easier it gets. And this month is possibly beginning of that ride. So embrace the ride, as Tim Wilde says, and that also comes out of the runes, which is also very spectacular for me. So March is really that kind of month where we focus on and for how to live from the heart in New Earth. How do we gracefully go through this deconstruction? We're all still healing. We're all still coming from the old paradigms of separation and control, of fear, uncertainty, and of course also scarcity. And when are we going to make that leap? from fear to love. When we choose to enter new earth, when we choose to accept 
and of course accept is a whole new story for me but acceptance is the first step then the first accept and then embrace our shift to homo luminous that is not complete yet but it has started in 2012 when we start accepting and then embracing that the ride gets so much easier as we are truly able to understand what it is for so for me march is all about that shifting from the old gracefully with compassion and dare it takes a lot of courage and i know even for me the courage is not also so e always easy it takes a lot of trust it is an evolutionary leap that we're all taking and this month is the beginning and then with eclipse season and all this other stuff that is coming this year it's turbulent it's chaotic and on some level it's not easy so i'm inviting you into the space of the heart into the space of living from the heart in new earth to accept and embrace our shift from homo sapien to homo luminous and if it's a bit rocky, and as my friend says, if it has a few speed bumps that we call police, sleeping policemen in Jamaica, it's just like that. There's speed bumps in the road. Don't get disencouraged. Connect. Don't do this on your own. You, we are not alone in this. Your uniqueness is often awakening when you are not alone. So what is happening in Sonkos worlds and for the Sonic Sonkos? We're focusing, very interesting, and I'm really happy for that. So the reconnect to the heart is out, and now you understand maybe what it is for. When we created it just a couple of months ago, and this shows you how fast it was, um, the four wasn't as clear as it is now. So the time and the energy and the frequencies are supporting us. Reconnect to the heart is maybe one of the most important programs you can do at this time. And we have designed it in a way that you can do a lot on your own, in your own space and at your own pace. But we are with you all the way. So it has a very strong personal touch in the sense of we're by your side. And we're also going to do some amazing things, of course, in the group once we have the people together. So Reconnect to the Heart, the online program. It's really about understanding that there is a moment in time when you reconnect, but the ripples take you into new earth and way beyond your wildest dreams and into the heart. So very exciting. And so please don't hesitate. If you have questions, just ask. We are here and we're excited to take you on this journey together to your mastery. The second focus that we have is this retreat season. So normally we do one retreat and then we take a rest. You know, this is how retreats go. But no, my guidance is very different. They said formula is 4433. And I'm like, okay, what does that mean? It means four people, four couples at a time. You may have heard this before, but because it's for the whole year, I can share with you again. It's four days. So we see each other in person for days. You can choose Peru in April, uh, Jamaica in May, in June and July, possibly somewhere in Germany or somewhere like that. And in, in August, we, we will be in Ibiza. So we organize something, of course, for you, but the most important where to sleep, but the most important is really that rekindled your heart fire. So the heart fire was really inspired by my new friend Kim Kindersley, uh, who was the filmmaker of The Whale Rider, A Whale Dreamer. And he alerted me to the fact that some Aboriginal language thought, has the same word for heart and fire. And that just took me off. Now the heart fire is important for you because in New Earth, in order to live, to create, still to heal, we're not finished yet, we are still going to be in human form, but far more or totally connected to who we truly are. So the heart fire is that opportunity to, to create from the heart, 
that seal and cest and sing that just takes us there uniquely but yet able to invoke synergy with others collaboration unity oneness complementing each other this is what it is and i'm happy to share with you that it's actually happening it's right happening for us here and so yes rekindle your heart fire is again a moment in time to rekindle it but it's lifetimes and again the boundless and the infinity to create and to share and to evolve with your own heart fire ah and i forgot the 33 is obviously for the 33 days we will be with you there's another class uniquely to everyone who goes on the retreat this year and also assignments so you have your own way of self-realization self-reflection praxis so very excited and at the end of the season we're gonna have a big gathering together and celebrate because we can the third focus on this year is our beautiful evolutionary leadership retreat and i'm sure you have already seen some of the things and what i love best and if you haven't watched it yet you should it's the last video that says he created the voices of all four speakers and uh, yeah it's just magic go and have a look i might put it at the end so that you can watch it very easily evolutionary leadership is something that's really close to my heart and important we're all leading lights some of us may have the title of leader and it doesn't mean there's only leaders it just means also self-leadership and so we're very excited to to go on this journey on the 13th of march coming very soon we have a free webinar there's another one coming soon but this is what we're doing right now that shares with you the lenses of evolutionary leadership and that evolutionary lead leap that we are taking and end of may on the 30th until june 2nd we have the retreat in the blue mountains in jamaica yes it's beautiful to be home in a space that i really love that i really feel allows you to make your evolutionary leap as a leader as a leading light so this is the three things that we're focusing on doesn't mean we can't serve you in other ways we know it's a year eight so eight doesn't only mean that all the money comes to you it doesn't only mean you are in your full power it also means you are working for it so it doesn't mean that we want to stress or get into busyness but yes we're here to work um it does, again it doesn't also mean we haven't worked in the past but here to work also to promote this time that we often haven't done so it's a very very exciting time and i'm happy to be with you in this together so i hope march 2024 is ex is inspiring you as much as it is inspiring me and of course if we're looking at the month and the year we have an 11 so it's a fabulous time to go within to connect to your heart and to get your heart fire sorted in peru jamaica ibiza or somewhere in europe where you want us to be so see you soon and thank you so much for being here and yeah, there's much more to share. Much love from my heart to yours.